avid baseball fans will remember uh, back in the days when Jackie Robinson um, started playing baseball for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And the situation was that he was the first black man to be hired to play professional baseball by the owner of the Dodgers. Many of the players objected. They felt that baseball was exclusively a, a sport for white men. It had never been heard of to have a black person play baseball publicly. And <clears throat> the, not only the players, but many fans objected. The owner recognized the talent of Jackie Robinson and included him. Today, we would find it impossible to think about professional baseball without black people or people of other races and cultures. It's just normal today, but that back then it was not. In the scriptures today, we see that many of the first Christians felt that Christianity was exclusively for Jewish people. Jesus was a Jew, they were the chosen people, the Messiah came and he was calling them to salvation. And so they wanted to exclude all others. When Peter was accepting the Gentiles, um, they found objection to it. And we see in the, in the reading that he had a vision in which God showed him um, that the old law was now changed and that he was including all people of all time for salvation. It was not exclusive. For us today, it would be impossible to imagine um, being exclusive with Christianity, wouldn't it? Um, and, but we must always be careful of our own attitudes that it's God's will to include everyone in his love. And that means that we too need to include everyone with our love and concern and not be exclusive. And not only that, but we should actually take steps to go out and invite people to come and to join the church to join Christianity. It's the message of the gospel today, and the only way through for salvation is through the gate, as it says in the gospel, and the gate is Jesus Christ. You and I are here today because we hear his voice. We come to Mass, we want to listen to his voice, hear his words, receive his body and blood. We know that he is the gate to salvation, and how blessed we are. But the Lord calls us then to use our voices and our talents to draw others to the same sheepfold. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.